So we're going to go through our notes in our scale and we're going to name them. We're going to start with the C major scale, lesson one, and this is the third fret. That's C. Then comes D. Then E. Then we have F. G. A. B. And C. So if you notice, we didn't say sharp or flat anywhere. So there are no sharps in the key of C. And that's my first in our musical alphabet. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works chromatically. And when I say chromatically, we mean every note. So C, if we move one fret higher, becomes C sharp. So sharp means higher than. The next one would be the next in the alphabet, which would be D. So C, C sharp, D. If I go down from D, it's D flat. So flat means lower than, sharp means higher than. If you have a, a nail sticking up out of a board, it's up above the board, it's sharp if you step on it. And if it's pounded down flat, it won't hurt you. So flat is lower than, sharp is higher than. So we have C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. But there's no E sharp. It goes right from E sharp or E to F. So we don't say E sharp, we just say E and then right to F. So that's what we call a half step. Two frets is a whole step. And one fret is a half step. So there's only a half step between E and F. Then I go from F to F sharp, then to G, G sharp, A, G, A. <laughs> and then from A sharp, we go to B, which is in my octave, eight notes through the scale higher. Not, not in totality, we have 12 notes all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then the 12th is my B again. So 12 different notes we have to choose from. And 8 in an octave of a scale, a diatonic major scale, we only have 8 notes we're using. We're using our first note, then doing a whole step, then doing another whole step, then we're doing a half step, then we're doing a whole step, another whole step, another whole step, and then we're playing our octave from the C. That would be 12, 12 notes higher through the chromatic scale, but only eight notes higher through our diatonic major scale. So because of the way that it's all broken down, we have different names for um, notes that we're... Thank you, Vicki. That's my computer telling me it's two o'clock. So we have different notes that we're playing through our scale that we're going to have to account for as far as being sharp or flat if we're going to keep that same first note, whole step, whole step, half step pattern. You can do this. Give yourself a little mnemonic device. Say first note, whole step, whole step, half step. See how your pinky's half the size of the others? So that's how you can remember the scale. First note, whole step, whole step, half step. And then we say whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So. You could use the other hand if you didn't want to use the same hand again. So that is our C major scale. And we're going to go ahead and go on to our G major scale and talk a little bit about the theory there and uh, why we are not going to be able to get away without saying sharp. So we'll talk to you on that one next.